all right hi guys welcome back to the channel your ball headed senpai here today we are gonna do a super cool unboxing of my season two attack on titan a deluxe vinyl box set so i'm super excited for it but first let's talk about how ratchet this box came <laughs> the packaging on this box is just so bad there is literally a hole that i can stick my fingers in like i can literally finger my box that's not supposed to happen um oh i didn't even see this one on the side yep finger can go in there too wow geez i could probably stick like four fingers in that bad boy just wow right stuff this is not it please hire me to ship your vinyl because y'all need some help this is kind of raggedy which is really surprising because right stuff just such a does such an amazing job with shipping their manga um and even their figures my figure came like all snug as a bug in a rug too but basically whenever you're going to be shipping vinyl you want to have some type of offset so that your vinyl isn't going to be moving around in there and it's going to prevent it from getting dings, getting creases, um, just getting all bumped around. Normally, even if something doesn't have offsets to protect your item from moving, um, when I move this box around, I can literally hear stuff sliding around. Sometimes you can just stuff a box so heavily that it just like, ain't nothing moving in that bad boy. But whew, this thing is like a Jenga box. It's just rattling, baby. Yeah, and so as I'm going through and I'm cutting off the tape, some of the tape actually just kind of like pulled up so again not really the most secure packaging I've ever seen um, I've definitely had worse somebody actually mailed me a album in a very large padded envelope which first off I didn't even realize they made padded envelopes that big but yeah that was that was an absolute disaster that album came so warped Ugh, I had to send a sternly worded email for that one but yeah anyway back to my box set so there's some manga in there that i'm gonna show in my haul later on but surprisingly there's like a small little ding in the corner but other than that it's not terrible and i know some people are really stringent with their vinyl and condition and stuff like that a bump or you know a little ding on the side isn't really gonna bother me that much but yeah right stuff still get your get your life together please so just looking at it it's absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love the colors um if you touch the cover there's like a difference between where the background sunshine area is and where aaron is standing um it's like a texture difference so that's pretty cool so just looking through the shrink wrap i can kind of see it's kind of like um in like a accordion style i can't really think of a better way to describe it so let's just go ahead and open this bad boy and uh see what we got i am super 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 excited and uh, yeah unwrap 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 hurry up hurry up and unwrap so like i mentioned before the texture difference of the cover even without the shrink wrap on is just so satisfying to touch but now as we open it we see my boy aaron yeager I love that kid. Best score Mikasa. Oh, if you look over at the side, there's a track listing, um, which is cool. It shows how long the sides are going to be, which is great. 15 minutes isn't too short of a time to flip a record, so that's great. Next, we got Armin, or as I love to call him, Armani suit. And then, of course, we got Levi Taicho in all his glory, his shortness. Ah, then we got these two bitches. <sighs> <sighs> JK, I guess they're okay, I guess. So going to the final cover, you look down in the right bottom corner and you can see the edition number, which is either 609 or 409. Can't really tell what somebody's handwriting, but that's really cool. And then, yeah, trying to pull this bad boy out. Um, yeah, these accordion sleeve things are cool in theory, but it is kind of hard to get out, but wow. Would you look at that? Oh, hi, me. Hi. But yeah, um, I actually thought that this green was going to be a little bit lighter. It just looked lighter in the pictures. But as I look at it now, pulling it out, it absolutely perfectly matches the Survey Corps uh, cape. So yeah, I actually do like this darker green way better. 
So next we've got some notes from the composer Hiroyuki Samano and it's really cool. Basically it just gives like his discography of stuff that he's worked on, which is really great. Apparently he worked on Kill la Kill and that's like my third favorite anime of all time. There's also a really cool composer note, basically just saying that on this deluxe edition, there's gonna be extra songs, some from the first season that weren't released and also some that were in the compilation film. So that's really cool. Once you go and flip it over into the back, then you have all the lyrics for any of the songs that have any vocals that all go with them. So that's pretty cool as well. So overall thought so far is that I just really love the packaging, minus the accordion sleeves. Those are just kind of hard to get your hand in and out of successfully without touching your record. But everything else is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color and how it matches the Survey Corps capes. Um, I love the little notes that has all the extra information on it and it feels like a personal touch from Hiroyuki Sano himself. So that's also really cool. And when I first bought this, I don't know why, but I thought it was gonna be a five LP, but it's actually four, which, is great still <laughs> i was a little late learning about these guys so i actually missed out on the first one and right now it's going on the third party market for like 500 dollars. so getting that one is gonna have to wait but i really hope that season three and season four get the same treatment i mean this is just absolutely gorgeous well packaged so well put together um yeah i love it so after the unboxing video i just went ahead and listened to the whole box set all five lps and it was amazing for context, I am playing this on my Audio-Technica LP60 Bluetooth Edition, which in my opinion is one of the better entry-level or starter turntables that are out there on the market right now. I mean, like, this ain't no, like, audiophile setup or <laughs> anything like that. But that being said, I feel like this is just amazing. Uh, the sound quality is great. The clarity is great. It's just phenomenally mastered, phenomenally pressed. Um, I honestly feel like I'm in the show in a village about to get eaten by a titan and I've just got some great background music playing to my demise. So yeah, I love it. 9 out of 10 would totally recommend. The only issue that I had with this box set is that it is very hard to pull the vinyl out from the little attached accordion sleeves. It's a little bit easier for me because I have small hands so I can just kind of stick it in there, put my fingers on the label and slide it out. But if you've got bigger hands, it might be a bit harder. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is putting all of the vinyl into endo sleeves and then putting those back into the accordion sleeves. So when I pull it out, I don't have to worry about accidentally touching the vinyl itself and getting my muddy little fingers on the grooves. But yeah, other than that, it's amazing and I love it. As a person who's into vinyl and specifically has a huge interest in soundtracks, I have really been loving this surge of anime soundtracks on vinyl that has kind of popped up within like I feel like the past two to three years as far as them being more easily accessible. So yeah, you might be seeing some more of these anime related vinyl unboxing videos, which I hope you enjoy. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and senpai out. Bye!